he, he's great. I mean, he's really, he, I, I find him to be an actor's director. I mean, I, I think he's really detailed in, in what he wants, and, and he'll, he'll break down the moments uh, very precisely. And he, so he's, he's really adept at, at doing that with an actor. I think he can really talk to you and tell you exactly what he needs, you know, which is rare. And, and that's, that's why I think he's a great director. I think he's, he's very precise, you know? I think there's a lot of pivotal moments. I think there's a scene that where, where, where we all first meet and Jim Reston meets Frost and I think the terms are set in that scene actually and and uh, the stakes of the film, well, why it's so important to get a, a confession out of Nixon because because he was pardoned and he accepted the pardon because you know, he, he never really confessed to Watergate. And Frost's interview really is the first time that you, you ever saw that with Richard Nixon. I think that's why it's so important, and because it, why it's important is you can't let someone get away with that kind of deception. He, was, he never stood trial, and he never went to prison, you know. And the guys that did go to prison, all the president's men didn't go for that long, you know. I think this is a, uh, it's an intellectual Rocky, you know, there's a, it's, there's a, a real underdog theme to this, you know, David Frost being Rocky, I mean, it's, it's, it's an exciting movie actually, because you set up this, it's a true story about someone who was really an underdog and did something kind of courageous, you know, I mean, he, he nailed one of the bad guys, you know and uh, he wasn't supposed to, and he had, all the odds were against him. So I think in general terms, that theme may resonate with people.